All right, welcome back, guys. Who we have here is Jim Dogs. We have Logan here, and me and Brandon are gonna ask some questions. All right, Logan. So my first question is, what do you feel like your split? Like, what's your overall thing that you do on like a weekly basis? Um, so usually on Mondays, I'll do I'll hit my chest and triceps, like every other everyone else. Then on Tuesday, back and bicep. I like to switch my split up every like six months. That makes sense. Like your body gets used to your split. Yeah, you gotta yeah. you gotta catch it off guard. So like usually on Wednesdays I'll, I'll be hitting legs, but recently I've been doing, well, I can't hit legs right now, but <laughs> yeah. when I was able to hit legs, I would do the split before I got hurt. I was hitting shoulders on Wednesday, have like my own shoulder day, and then Thursday it was legs. So a four day split instead of like push pull leg. It's kind of like an Arnold split. I've done the Arnold split before where you yeah. do chest and back. But yeah, I'd say, I'm, I personally like the Arnold split. My, that's my favorite. Yeah, so. it's a good split. Yeah. So Logan, what supplements do you use? Um, right now, I'm just on creatine. I used to take like zinc and like ashwagandha and all that a while back, but I didn't really notice a huge difference on those. I felt like it was kind of a waste of my money. So now I just take creatine. Yeah. Yeah. So keep it simple. All right, so Logan, another question to ask is, what skills have you actually learned from like, you know, just lifting in general? Um, I would say I picked up on a lot of discipline, so I could get more stuff done. Yeah, yeah. Like motivation, but not really motivation, but kind of like discipline. Obviously, like, you, know, you gotta you gotta do it. Yeah. Like motivation kind of comes and goes, but discipline is like you're consistent with it. Yeah, so even if you I don't picked up on that. Yeah. I've used that in my everyday life, like with other things. So I get more stuff done. I feel like so it's really helped me. All right. So Logan, last question. What what's your diet like? What kind of foods do you eat? Uh, so for breakfast, I'm usually eating eggs. I'm on more of like a cut right now, if anything. I'm kind of like maintaining, trying to stay where I'm at, but also putting my salad, getting the right amount of calories, right amount of protein, carbs. So I mean, I'm eating a lot of lean meats, a lot of rice, potatoes, keeping my carbs up so I'm energized for the gym. But yeah, my, my diet's been the same for quite a few months now. I'm just kind of slowly but I'm also while slowly losing fat, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not bulking too far but not cutting too much. You know? so. Thank you Logan for coming to a YouTube video. Make sure you guys watch our channel, Jim Dogs, on your channel, Creative Communications. Welcome back guys to Fit Focus with me, Jesus. And me, Brennan. And today this is a different type of uh, YouTube video. We're trying to be working out. We're gonna explain uh, supplements, diet splits and maybe cardio yeah and then for our i guess dieting we'll explain bulking cutting maintaining and even lean bulking and stuff like that and for splits like your casual push pull legs with maybe the arm split chest back um, arms and then legs and for some of this, uh, sorry for the noise this construction so don't mind that and for supplements creatine uh, your pre-workout, your vitamins, and stuff like that. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm gonna tell you how to maintain. First, you just want to go online, look up how to maintain your weight, or just ma maintain calculator. It'll just pop up. You'll probably see something like this. There's a few different ones, but they'll all tell you to put in your height and your weight and how active you are. If you're semi-active, moderately active, or really active, and that should tell you how much you should probably eat uh, during the day and how much you should just eat in general. So now you know how to maintain your weight. Uh, we're gonna talk about bulking. This is probably the best choice for like teenagers if they're like super skinny. And for bulking, you pretty much want to go like 300 calories or 200 calories above that uh, calorie goal. And some like good bulking options are like a bunch of beef, a lot of rice, and a lot of, like carbs or protein. You want to get focused on the protein and carbs a lot, and those healthy fats like avocado, peanut butter, and nuts and all. Uh, beef tallow and olive oil, and just all of the bunch of healthy fats. And there's also dirty bulking, which you can eat like 25% of that food, which is like fast food, your daily Burger King, your McDonald's, Domino's, just pizza, like just fast food, uh, quick foods. And 75%, which is, you know, your beef, again, uh, your chicken, your steak, just like red meats, white meat. And, yeah. All right, guys. 
So now that you know how to bulk and kind of maintain, now you gotta know how to cut. So now you get your maintenance weight and you kind of eat at least 200 under or even more. You can like literally starve yourself. But for cutting, you wanna just do your workouts, eat enough proteins, and really lean proteins like chicken, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. And then you also wanna throw in at least a decent amount of cardio. I'd say 30 minutes a day of just solid cardio. You don't wanna be out of breath while you're doing your cardio. You just kinda of wanna be doing it. And at a decently moderate pace, you wanna burn off fats. We get rid of all of that so you can look shredded and you look good for your you know cut instead of adding like rice to it like you would add in the bulk so beef and rice you want to add like chicken and maybe some broccoli and some greens because they're, they're not highly dense in carbs but the chicken is still really good for you because it's really lean it gives you that protein that you need you want high proteins low carbs and low fats now when you're cutting you want to look for things that are like kind of high in volume that kind of fill you up and make you feel full so that you don't go eating everything and they're also got to be low in calories so like you don't you know, go over your calorie goal and a little tip for cutting, you don't want to be eating too much or too little. You want to stay right in that spot where you want. You want that goal every day. Stay really consistent. Don't mess it up because if you eat too little, you might just get burnt out and you want to eat a lot. It just gets way harder. Just eat whatever goal you set and stick to it and make sure it actually works and test it out for a few weeks. Make sure it works and it's doing well. You should stick to it. If you're eating too over, then it's just not working. Your deficit's not working. So I want to talk about supplements. And the first supplement we're going to talk about, which is uh, creatine, which is the most like researched uh, natural supplement that you can take as a natural, and what pretty much uh, creatine is is you can either take it with powder or pills, but I suggest do with pills because it's the most researched and most safe. And what pretty much creatine does is you can take like five milligrams or ten, but I suggest doing five because it's pretty much the same. And what it does is it helps you with recovery, uh, strength, and fills uh, muscles with water. And your muscles absorb more water than usual, so you look bigger. And I suggest drinking a lot of water since you're drinking creatine. So you, you, and you want to take, take it daily, like kind of at the same time, of course daily, so you don't lose the creatine. So I suggest taking over like over like one and a half gallons or two of a gallons a day, so you, you keep the creatine in your body system. And personally, I could I started taking creatine, but I kind of stopped. Cause I couldn't keep up with, like drinking too much water because I had to like go to the bathroom a lot. All right, and then I've also taken creatine before. I used to I was doing it for almost a straight year until I just I couldn't keep it up anymore. Dude, the water intake is actually ridiculous. It's really hard to maintain. Two gallons a day is actually what will make you feel good. If you drink one, it's okay, but I would recommend just way more than that from my personal experience and for my own body as well. So the next supplement we're gonna talk about is zinc. And this helps you with your immune system. So if you wanna get sick, like me, which right now I'm sick right now, you wanna take at least 15 to 30 uh, milligrams of zinc every day. And yeah, every like pro bodybuilder, like Sebum, your Lee Priest, Kevin Leroy, the tasty supplements, and yeah. So the next supplement is fish oils. This helps you with your bone structure, like your bone health. So you don't have like weak joints, or, like weak bones while you're like lifting. Your others is your, your vitamins, your A, B, C's, and D's, and your omega-3's, and those help you, you know, can get your nutrients in. So going off what Jesus just said, um, I think vitamin D is just the most important. It helps you absorb a lot of nutrients a lot better. So getting that sunlight is just really, really important, and, uh, especially calcium. It helps you absorb calcium. You already can't absorb a lot of calcium in general, but adding vitamin D increases that chance of actually absorbing the calcium, and most of us are actually calcium deficient, but just getting that vitamin D will help a lot. Right, the next supplement we're going to be talking about is ashwagandha. You can take it in gummies, it can be even in sleep gummies to help you sleep, or it can just help you stay calmer and just more focused in the gym and just in everyday life. It kind of relieves really stress. They can also be pills and other things, but ashwagandha is just kind of a nice thing to add into your, uh, your supplements. The next supplement we're going to be talking about is MSM powder, and you probably haven't heard about it, but it basically helps with your sulfur intake, which we already don't get enough of. And it basically helps with your joints and your like your knees and stuff. It improves your cartilage and just good for that. And it's also good for your skin health. It's just very nice to have. So include that in your supplements as well. So the next supplement is pre-workout, which you take this before the gym. And this pretty much helps you with, there's pretty much caffeine in there so you can be more energized in the gym. Helps you with focus and there's like pumping goodies in there so your pump lasts longer or you get your pump like easier. And there's like different types of like pre-workouts uh, companies out there like your ghost your raw um, your huge supplements and um, echo vision and there's many more because it's an option not, not like necessary for the gym but personally i take it because 
I get my pump, but I like feeling the pump inside the gym, like being focused inside the gym, so yeah. All right, so next we're gonna have whey protein and like isolates, so that's just basic protein powder. They're usually pretty lean, and it's just a good thing to throw on top of like your lean meats. So basically, you want the powder, and you just scoop it out of like whatever menu you bought it from whey or isolate, and you just put it in like, you know, your shaker bottle with water or milk, and you just shake it up, and you can drink it. It's just extra protein, and it's good to add on top of other meats and stuff, like I said before. So the last supplement is steroids. You got your test, your testosterone, your triplone, your Anivar, and like different other steroids for like different levels, like for beginners and like advanced, like pro bodybuilders. And this will, this pretty much helps you with your hormo your hormones. Uh, you get more hormones, so you get more um, test on your body so you get bigger. But I don't suggest using steroids. So if you can't buy them, don't hop on them. Unless you want to take it to like the next level, like if you want to become a pro bodybuilder, like like every bodybuilder does in Mr. Olympia or like on stage. And but me personally, I'm gonna use. It. So the next topic we're gonna talk about is splits. There's like different types of splits. You could also make your own split, but there's also like the most common, most popular splits that like people would do, which is the push foot leg splits, the Arnold split, and the bro split. And more pretty much the push foot leg split is. Uh, first day, which is push, you do chest and triceps, maybe shoulders, and the pulse, the pull day, which is like back and biceps, and rear delts, of course, and like the legs, which is we do legs, and you can also do shoulders on leg day, but I suggest just doing it on push days, and the Arnold split, which is first day is chest and back, uh, third, second day is arms with shoulders, and the last day. Is legs and you just repeat that same day like with like a rest day in between or no rest day in between for like a week and the bro split which is like a different muscle group each day which is you can see Monday chest Tuesday back uh, Wednesday uh, arms Thursday legs and you just repeat that and then like Friday abs you just repeat that all right so the last split we're gonna be talking about is just a full body split and that's just literally like one to two days of the week. And I wouldn't really recommend this, but usually you'll have your one day on like a full body Friday. That's why it's kind of funny. But I mean, you could just space it out a little bit or you could just do it at night. I don't really care. I wouldn't recommend this at all. It's just not really productive. And you literally just do it on a Friday because it's, I don't know, just most one day of the week. Or you could do it on like Monday and then Friday. But usually you only have one day for this because you're doing so much in a workout. It might last for a long time. But I wouldn't recommend this because you want to space out your workouts and do, you know, like chest two days a week, like literally everything two days a week. Maybe not legs, but basically you just want to do everything two days a week to maximize that growth and full body is just not a good idea. But personally, I like mixing the push pull legs and the Arnold split together. Like I do the first like three days of the week, I do push pull legs and I rest. And then last like three days I do Arnold split, which is like, again, push pull legs and then rest. And then the Arnold split, chest, back, arms and then legs. And I just repeat that. All right, and so for me, I just, I literally just did the bro split. I just do whatever feels right, to be honest. I don't really follow a plan too much, but I also just kind of incorporate just doing like chest on Monday, Tuesday back, Wednesday arms, Thursday might be a rest day or I'll just hit legs and then Friday would either be a rest day or hit legs that day. And that's just, I just repeat that. So that concludes our gym tips for today's video. Make sure you watch our, our next YouTube video on JHS Communications on YouTube. And uh, make sure to train hard and make sure to go as hard as you can in the gym. Make sure you get the hydration, you know, new supplements you might be taking. And uh, stick to your diet, keep it consistent, and make sure your split's also doing really well.